all signs, who can't stop thinking about you? Starting with Aries, Aries, Sun, and Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, using this Cleo's Tarot. Who can't stop thinking about Aries? This is such an awkward workspace. I've got books and stacks. I've got makeup. I've got invisible tape. It's just crazy. Ramen. Notepad. I was some red those. I keep my earrings. Some of my earrings in here. Okay. Aries, Sun, and Rising. Who can't stop thinking about Aries? My God, these books. Who can't stop thinking about Aries? Oh, that was terrible. Unamas. Okay. Eight of Staffs. Eight of Wands. I call this the sex card. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords, Will of Fortune, Knight of Cups. This person is the whole fucking package. They got it all. Um, I see someone who is extremely high functioning. They are extremely, exceptionally adept at 3D stuff. Um, they're really good at communicating, but they also have emotional intelligence. This person likely sees you as a soulmate. This is a very strong connection. It's sexual and romantic. This person's energy is dynamic. Um, they have a really good natal chart. They could have something like uh, Sun and Leo. Scorpio rising, moon and Sagittarius. They have this beautiful blend of the masculine and the feminine. Again, emotional intelligence, and they're really adept at 3D stuff. They have tremendous lust for you, but it's also a spiritual connection. They love your mind. They love how you present yourself. They love how you communicate. They love your intelligence. And obviously, they love your physicality. So this is really good. I'm not going to fuck with it. When it's that positive, I just leave it alone. That's what I see for Aries. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Okay, Paso, Taurus. Taurus, sudden rising. Venus, Mars, Mercury. Who can't stop thinking about the Taurus? Six parts. going to bother me. I got to get rid of all this shit. Okay. Got sunglasses, glasses. It's crazy. Okay. Today is a day of declutter. Ooh, that's a beautiful damn start. Knight of Cups. Temperance. Four of Swords. Page of Cups. So this is similar to what I saw for Aries. I'm seeing someone who's dynamic. Someone who is an amazing blend of the masculine and the feminine. I do see someone who has emotional intelligence. They have strong lust for you. You're pretty much this person's ideal. This person is highly intelligent, maybe a genius. This person could have sun in Aquarius, Aries rising, moon in Pisces, just one possibility. But I see someone so similar to what I saw for Aries. They are emotionally intelligent, emotionally available. This is likely a spiritual connection. 
but the lust is also strong. Mm -hmm. They see you as the whole package. Craig. I don't get too heavy into the name, so the name pops out, it pops out. And so Craig just popped into my head. This person could be named Craig. Um, this is someone who is very strong mentally and physically strong. They take excellent care of themselves. They're in good health. Their libido is robust. They have strong lust for you, and they also feel this spiritual connection. I see them being open. Their heart chakra is open. They're emotionally available. So when is this good? I don't fuck with it. I don't see any red flags here. It looks good, Taurus, so I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Okay, Paso, Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Who can't stop thinking about Gemini? Just got my hair cleaned up. I took the scissors to it myself and then I went to Fantastic Stands and got it cleaned up. I'm savage. Then I went to the wig store and got a new wig, and I got this knockoff of Too Faced. It's a lip plumping lip gloss, but um, I guess it works. Okay. Avocado oil, jojoba oil. You can feel the sting. Okay, who can't stop thinking about Gemini? Knight of Coins, Six of Staffs, Knight of Staffs, Ten of Staffs, Four of Staffs, and Knight of Swords. So unlike what I saw for Aries and Taurus, I feel like this person's energy is a lot more subdued. I'm seeing probably an introvert. Um, okay. Yeah, we don't have any water. It's all fire, air, and earth. So this person could have sun and Capricorn. Aries rising. Moon and Libra, just one possibility. I'm seeing someone who's very smart, very careful, very cautious, very conservative with their energy. This is not someone who's going to slide into the DMs and be sleazy about it. This is not a pick for pick kind of person. This is not someone who's going to just sex you. Uh, they're going to bring real value to your life, not just less. This could potentially lead to marriage. We do have my favorite marriage card, the Four of Wands. Okay. You have things in common beyond the chemistry. The chemistry is strong, though. It's very strong because, my God, four out of the six cards are fire. So, this person is adept at so-called 3D stuff. They are high-functioning, but it's not so blatant and obvious as it was for what I saw for... Aries and Taurus. This person's not a raging extrovert, but they have a very strong libido. This is someone who is going to be faithful. And this is someone who takes money, finances, career, and responsibilities extremely seriously. So that's good. The first three signs, I've not seen any red flags. When it's this positive, I don't fuck with it. I let the cards speak for themselves. I don't keep drawing endless cards. I'm very... Um, minimal in my readings. I'm very straight to the point. But that's what I have for Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. The lighting's not the best. Okay, Paso Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Who can't stop thinking about my Cancer Collective? Very straight to the point, no nonsense, no sugar, no fluff. I don't really get into the woo-woo stuff. I'm not a woo-woo kind of reader. For
for years this channel was extra basic tarot. I changed it to psycho tarot a few months ago. So I don't know. I don't I don't channel spirit. I don't channel any angels or anything like that. I'm not a psychic, I'm not a medium, I'm just an intuitive card reader. Little monks. The Fool, Aquarius. Well, Fortune, Sagittarius. The World, the Fixed Modality, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. The Emperor, Aries. All this Major Arcana, damn. Hierophant, Taurus, and Death, Scorpio. Are you fucking kidding me? That never happens. It's all major arcana. So, one of two things. I mean, this never happens. A six-card spread that's all major arcana. That's crazy. Uh, it could be one of two things. Either... This is someone you have absolutely no history with, someone where there is substantial distance. I don't just mean geographical, but psychic, emotional. You've not really done anything together yet. It's, it's very minimal. It's very, um, it's very fresh. It's very new. It's someone you've not really fucked with. It's either that or... To have all this major arcana, it could be someone who you have a heavy north node connection with. I'm not woo-woo, I'm not especially spiritual, but I'm really big on astrology. I just, I found truth, I found validity in Western astrology. I've been studying, researching for decades. So this could be a really strong north node connection. Someone who's going to be instrumental in your life, pushing you out of your comfort zone, pushing you to be the best version of yourself. And it's going to be scary. It's going to be terrifying when you meet someone who activates your north node. So, for example, bless you, my son, other side of the wall. Uh, my north node is in Capricorn. And without a question, people who have Capricorn energy have been the biggest players in my life, the biggest... Uh, catalysts, the biggest teachers in my life have been Capricorns. So, and I can think of two men right away who activated my, uh, my North Node at 16 Capricorn in the fifth, the House of Leo. And when that happens, it's scary as hell and it's intense. It's like a Pluto conjunction, like Pluto conjunct moon. The person scares you. They have power over you. They, they fill in the gaps. They they bring stuff to your table that no one else has brought or could bring. Um, they're aligned or they're, I don't know, they're uh, a part of your soul's purpose. It's really intense. They're the teachers of your life. So this could be a great teacher in your life. It could be both. Someone you have no history with. Someone who's coming in. It's fresh. It's new. It's scary as hell. And they're going to activate your North Node. And it's not its not comfortable. North Node and Pluto, it's not comfortable. You're being pushed out of your comfort zone. Okay. This person has big energy. They could have Sun in Aries, Scorpio rising, Moon and Sagittarius, just one possibility. But this person is a force to reckon with. Their energy is formidable. It's very intense. This is not casual. This is not someone who just wants to have sex with you. This is not someone who's just slobbering all over your Instagram selfies. This is someone who's going to change the course of your life. I'll leave it at that. It's what I see for cancer. I hope that helps. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. K Paso, Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, six cards from my sexy Leo collective. Who can't stop thinking about Leo? Queen of Staffs. K 
King of Swords. So right away we have a partnership that's strong to start with two signifiers and your energy clearly coming through the Queen of Staffs, Queen of Wands. And then we have two of coins. So I am seeing mutuality, reciprocity, things in common beyond the chemistry, Page of Swords, um, the Star, Aquarius, and Knight of Coins. Okay, this is delicious. This is really good because it's not someone who's just coming on. Um, this is not someone who's just coming on really strong, wanting instant gratification. This is not. This is not fuck boy energy. This is someone you could have a real partnership with. Okay, perhaps this started on social media or maybe a dating gap. But it's very cautious, slow-moving energy. It's not wham, bam, thank you, man. Okay, it's not Chad. It's not a fuck boy. Um, this is someone you would consider an equal. Someone you could have a real connection with, a real partnership with. They could have Sun in Aquarius, Gemini rising, Moon in Taurus, one possibility. This is someone who is extremely bright, very intelligent, very good at communication, and they're purposeful in their communication. They don't just talk for the sake of talking. If they talk to you, if they message you, there's there's a point to the communication. Uh, this could be a really exciting, creative collaboration. You could be in a band together. You could write a script together, start a channel together, a podcast. Um, so it's not just about the sex, it's not about lust. This is someone you could have a real partnership with. Yeah, that's what I see for Leo. I hope that helps. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Okay, Pasta Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Six cards for my gorgeous. Virgo Collective, who can't stop thinking about Virgo? Nine of Cups, Four of Swords, the Tower. Three of Cups. Wow, Ten of Cups. <laughs> Two of Swords. This is someone who, despite their best tactics, despite their defensive measures. This person's falling in love with you. It could be someone that you're friends with and they try to put on the brakes. They try to keep it casual. They try to put you in the friendship category, maybe friends with benefits, but this person's falling for you and it's really intense and it's really scary. You're triggering the fuck out of this person. Um, maybe it's a matter of bad timing. Perhaps this person is getting over someone. They're they're getting over an ex and they did not plan on this, but you can't plan for this sort of thing. When lightning strikes, it strikes. And I see this person being struck by lightning regarding you. In other words, they're falling in love with you and they didn't want this. Maybe they fought it tooth and nail, but they can't fight it. It's that REO Speedwagon song. I can't fight this feeling anymore. You're it. You're the whole package, and they can't deny that. And it's terrifying. For some reason, I don't know why, I'm 51 years old. I don't really have much of a life. I don't get out. I rarely leave the house. I sold my car in 2020. But uh, I've been watching Dawson's Creek clips at YouTube, specifically the clips regarding um, Joey and Pacey. I just think they're the cutest couple. And they started out as friends. And then when they discovered they were falling for each other, it was just, it was magical. It was really beautiful the way it happened, the way it was written, the way it was acted. So I'm seeing Joey and Pacey. 
Um, so except for the tower, which is Mars, Aries, it's all water and air. So they could have strong water and air in their natal chart. My chart is earth dominant, air is a close second. They could have water dominant with air being a close second. They could have something like Sun and Pisces, Aquarius rising, Moon and Libra. This is someone who is definitely a romantic. I would say they are spiritual, could be psychic. Um, this is someone you could have strong mental telepathy with. I'm seeing the Virgo Pisces axis. So they probably have at least one Pisces placement. And you dream of each other and you both see everything in each other. You both tick off all the boxes. This is like a dream once in a lifetime, love of a lifetime connection. Deeply spiritual, deeply felt, deeply romantic. This is someone you could potentially have a long lasting, deeply gratifying relationship with. I'll just, I'll leave it at that. I don't go too deep in these readings, um, especially when the cards are good. I don't see the need to keep shuffling cards. You're going to get a negative card eventually. So anyway, that's what I have for Virgo. I hope that helps. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. I just got my hair cut. I took scissors to my hair. Then I went to Fantastic Sam's. Got it cleaned up. I got a new wig because I don't like to just be one thing. I have a lot of mutable energy in my chart. I've got Virgo rising and just a lot of mutable stuff. So I like to switch it up. That's what I have. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I've got to start doing vertical lives. I don't know why I'm so resistant to that. Something about going live just scares the hell out of me. K Paso Libra. Libra, Sun, and Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Six cards for my beautiful Libra collective. Who can't stop thinking about Libra? Nomas. Just got this Too Faced knockoff at the wig store. I said, do you have Too Faced? No, we have these knockoffs. This is fine. I got a new Too Faced a couple of weeks ago. I don't know where it is. I'm terrible at keeping track of all my stuff. Cosmetics, crystals, tarot cards, jewelry, books. Okay. Gotta go out and clean, declutter the garage. That'll be fun. Um, oh, there you are. Six of Stats. Well, six is Venus. Three of Coins, three Sagittarius. Strength, Leo. Five of Coins, Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Page of Staffs, the Hermit, Virgo. Okay, this is someone that you have broken bread with, so to speak. You've exchanged energy in the 3D in person with this person. This is not just an online connection. This is not someone you've just sexted a few times. There's real history here. There's real exchange. I'm seeing a relationship. Um, you may have broken up because, I don't know, you both have really strong personalities. There may have been a disagreement regarding money or regarding taking the relationship to the next level. This person is going through something. Um, Maybe they got a diagnosis recently, or they're depressed. Um, they have a lot of stress at work, and they're just being very private. They're being very cautious. They're be being very careful, very conservative with their energy. I don't see this person being all over social media. I don't see them blowing up your phone, but... In this time alone, during this hermit phase, they're thinking about you a lot, and they absolutely value what the two of you have. There is a strong sexual connection, but there's more than that. 
There is lust, but there's more than that. This person has tremendous respect for you. You probably have shared beliefs, shared interests. Um, so right now, they are comfortable with the space between the two of you. Right now, they need to process things. They need to process life. They need to breathe in and breathe out. And you can't help them. You can't hold their hand through this. They need to be left alone. But I see them coming back around. I see some kind of uh, reconciliation in your future. Please provide a three-card energetic summation for my Libra Collective. anti-ASMR, I'm a loud shuffler. Yeah, this is an X. And they're being strategic. They're thinking about the best way to come back and do your life. I don't feel like anything toxic happened between the two of you. I don't feel like it's third party. I mean, that's always a possibility. But I feel like Life just happens, and they needed space, and right now they need this to continue. They need to stay in hermit mode for a while, but probably around the end of the year, around New Year's, I see them coming back, and they want to come back in a good, clean way with no baggage. That's what I see for Libra. They don't want to cry on your shoulder. They don't want to make their problems your problems. They don't want to burden you with their stuff is what I'm seeing. So I hope that helps. Um... They probably have a lot of fire in their chart. They could have Sun and Leo, Sagittarius rising. They could have uh, Moon and Aries. I feel like their astral combo is all masculine. I'm seeing fire. But yeah, that's what I have. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I gotta start doing vertical lives. Got to get the numbers up. Got to get my second monetized YouTube channel. I'm all about multiple streams of income. eBay, Redbubble, Patreon, YouTube, client readings. Hustle, hustle. I'm going to start selling my books locally, Swim Cake Press. I have a blog. It's called Chupacabra Disco. I got books at Amazon. You can Google Misty Rainwater Lights and you'll be occupied for a couple of hours. K Paso Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun and Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Six cards for my sexy Scorpio collective. Who can't stop thinking about Scorpio? I'm ahead of 4B. <laughs> I'm way ahead of 4B. I did this. I got my hair shaved. Well, I took the scissors myself. I cut my hair and then I went to Fantastic Sam's and it cleaned up in February for my 51st birthday. Now I went back to Fantastic Sam's. I did the same thing because it was growing in a weird way. So I've got this, but I'm, I'm way beyond 4B. I had a hysterectomy. I got rid of my uterus in 2011. Haven't had sex since 2016. Voluntary celibacy. So anyway, um, yeah, I've got wigs. I like to switch it up. So, um, Knight of Staffs, Queen of Staffs, that's strong for two signifiers to come out together, especially when they're from the same suit, the same element, fire. Um, chariot, Cancer, Nine of Cups. This keeps popping up. I guess a lot of people are in love lately. That's awesome. <laughs> Four of Staffs. Wow. Eight of Cups. Eight is Capricorn. So nine Aries. Four Aquarius. Eight Capricorn. Yeah, this is someone you're going to have the whole damn enchilada with. I've got a storefront at Red Bubble. Over 2,500 designs. I sewed an apron 
two days ago, someone bought an apron with my design that I got from Canva. I use Canva for my red bubble stuff. The whole enchilada. So the link to my red bubbles in the box. You can buy my designs on aprons, canvas, posters, postcards, greeting cards, hoodies, t-shirts, whatever. Okay. So this is someone you're going to marry. Maybe you're already married to this person. You could be living together, engaged, married, but this is a real relationship. This is a strong relationship. This is the love of a lifetime. It's not casual. This person is your equal in every way. You're equally sexy. You're equally intelligent. You're equally productive. This is someone you could have a YouTube channel with, uh, a vlog, a podcast. Um, I see you both being intensely sexual and creative and high energy. This energy is just off the fucking charts. And you're aligned. You're on the same damn page. That's beautiful when that happens. So you could have a really strong, significant conjunction in fire. Something like Mars conjunct Venus and Sagittarius, one example of many. Mercury conjunct Mercury and Sagittarius. If your sun's in Scorpio, uh, Mercury is always in the same sign as your sun or the sign before or after. I have, I think, over a hundred videos at Patreon. I have a lot of picket cards collective card readings, oracle card readings, and I have videos on astrology and how I read tarot. That link's in the box. So check it out if you're so inclined. But this is a relationship. Um, and it's deep. It's not just sex. It's a spiritual connection. It's a love of a lifetime is what I see. That's come up for so many signs in this video. Um... If this does not sync up with your reality, if this does not resonate, you can manifest this. It's like I tell clients all the time, I am not fatalistic or superstitious when it comes to tarot. Anyone who has more than two brain cells to rub together knows that you can't carve any of this in stone. I'm just some bitch in San Antonio shuffling some cards. It's like someone who left a really hateful comment at Siren Table in all caps, no less, just spewing their hatred. They said, um, tarot readers are terrible. They get people's hopes up. Any idiot can go to Amazon or Timu and get a deck of tarot cards and just, you know, uh, tell you shit, get your hopes up. So I keep it real. I'm fine with what I do for a living. I'm fine with how I present myself. I'm fine with how I do tarot. I don't have any qualms whatsoever. I conduct myself with absolute integrity. I've got Saturn in the 10th house and it tops my chart. 10th house tops your chart. So 10th house is the house of Capricorn. Anyway, um, when the cards are good, the cards are good. I didn't pull these cards out of my ass. I took a deck and I shuffled and I got some really fucking good cards. Now if I shuffled again, I could get a terrible six card spread. But I'm really big on LOA. I've seen the evidence in my own life. All of my relationships have been intentional. I put my request out there and I received. Sometimes it happens so fast that it's scary. Um, but I'm big on LOA. So if this is not your reality, you could make it your reality. If you want a decent partnership that's not just about sex or you want someone who doesn't leave you on red, someone who doesn't play little shitty mind games, someone who comes correct, uh, conducts himself with class and integrity, who brings real value to your life, not just a hard dick or whatever, you can manifest that. So, yeah, this person could have Sun and Sagittarius, Cancer rising, Moon and Scorpio, just one possibility, but that's what I see, that's what I have, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, peace out. Sagittarius, K Paso. Six cards, you're not sexy. Sagittarius Collective. Who can't stop thinking about Sagittarius?
Four of Cups, Four is Aquarius. Five of Swords, Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Justice, Libra. Four of Coins. Temperance, that's Sagittarius. So this is someone who has street smarts. Um, might have been a drug dealer at some point. This person might have done some time in county, federal, state. Um, seeing tattoos. I'm seeing a motorcycle. I'm seeing someone who's just very savvy. There's different kinds of intelligence. This people, this person is very people smart, uh, street smart, very savvy, very intuitive. Uh, nothing gets past this person, you can't bullshit or manipulate this person. You can't control this person. This person's wild. This person's free. Okay. Um, they don't buy into the bullshit games. They're not controlled. They're not manipulated. Uh, I feel like this person comes in and out of your life. This is a very strong karmic connection. Lessons to be learned. It's not especially romantic, or it hasn't been historically. This is not like someone that you um, meet on Tinder, Grinder, Bumble, Plenty of Fish, Match, eHarmony, Craigslist. <laughs> they don't have Craigslist personals anymore. I've looked into Craigslist for business opportunities for gigs, and I'll go back, but they don't have this sleazy personal stuff. Actually, I had better dates from Craigslist back in the day than Match. Match was terrible, and I paid $100 for Match, and it was absolute trash. Um, this is not someone you meet, and you have some drinks at Applebee's or Chili's or whatever, and then you have amazing sex, and then it's on like Donkey Kong, and you've got Valentine's, and you've got Rosa. It's, it's not that. It's not that. Okay. This is something different. It's like, um, stop and start. You text and then they leave you on red and there's there's no consistent communication and it's painful and it's just awkward and weird. And you think, you scratch your head and think, what is this person doing in my life? What is the universe trying to teach me through this fucker? What the fuck? It's big what the fuck energy. This is not your twin flame. This is not your divine counterpart. This is not your soulmate from Atlantis or what the fuck ever. Um, you know, I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium. I don't channel. I'm not a star seed. I'm just a basic bitch from the North Texas Sticks shuffling some cards in San Antonio. But I'm really good at telling stories. So this could be someone who, in a previous incarnation, I can't decide which, well, I like this best. This is my favorite. Vanilla Mocha Martini, my all-time favorite lotion, I think. But I got this recently at Ulta, and I like it. It's very clean. The hemp, whipped vanilla, and coconut cream. Okay. In a previous incarnation, this person was a farmer. Okay. They had a farm and they were very adept at farm stuff, you know, taking care of the animals and protecting their land from anyone who would invade it or fuck with it. This is my land. You can fuck all the way off. They have their rifle. Okay. And then you're the wandering preacher. You wander around spreading the good news, the gospel trying to lead people to Christ and you come to this person and they shoot you or something like that, you know, <laughs> stupid. I'm seeing heavy karma. Okay. You and this person fucked with each other in a previous incarnation. Now in this incarnation, you don't recognize each other. I don't feel like either one of you is especially spiritual or connected to your past. I don't, I don't see my past lives. I have no clue. I've always felt very drawn to pirate lore, so perhaps I was a 
pirate in a previous incarnation. We found this super cool secret pirate bar in downtown San Antonio for my son's birthday. We took him to Tokyo Cowboys, a restaurant downtown. And my husband went to the bathroom and he came back up to the table and he said, oh my God, there is this amazing tiki bar downstairs. I said, no, there isn't. He said, yes, there is. Come see. So we went down these flights of stairs and there was this bar like from the Goonies or some shit. They had the skulls and the waterfall and I want to go back and actually get drunk. But um, there's tiki torches. It's on the river walk. Really cool. So maybe I was a pirate in a previous incarnation. I hope so. I'd like to get the stuff done where you go and you see your past life. But anyway, I don't see any of that stuff. I'm not that spiritual. I'm very basic. I'm very situated in the 3D. So you and this person, you can't see past to this, this past incarnation you had. So it's just kind of this weird feeling in this lifetime. I don't know how you fit into my life. There's some kind of weird connection. I don't know what it is. Get my finger on it. But what is this? What are we going to do? You might not do anything. This person could just be a blip on your screen. So why are they thinking about you? Perhaps they're wondering how you fit into their life. Please provide a three-card energetic solution for Sagittarius. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? You're popping up in my dreams, and you're really sexy in my dreams, and in my dreams, you're different than the way you are in the waking world. What the fuck? Yeah, they think about you, and they meditate. Now, I saw this woman on the Jeff Mara podcast last night. I subscribed to her channel. Now, she is spiritual. She channels Yeshua, Mary Magdalene, uh, Archangel Michael, Metatron. She gets all these crazy downloads. Um, and she said it all started when she started meditating. Now, when I meditate, I'm just breathing in and out. I don't see anything. I don't get downloads. I'm just breathing in and out. That's it. That's all. So this person breathes in. They breathe out. Perhaps they do the guided meditation. Mary, Gate, Mary Kate's guided meditation is not a coincidence. But this person's very immersed, very entrenched in the 3D. They can't really access the higher realms. Um... Maybe they've not had a dark night of the soul. Maybe they've not had a heart chakra activation or whatever. This person's not a Reiki practitioner. They're not a starseed. Um, but they breathe in, they breathe out, and you pop up into their consciousness, and they're trying to figure out what this means. They could be a few years younger than you. They could have Sun in Capricorn, Mercury in Aquarius, Sagittarius, Rising Moon in Libra, just one possibility. That's the best I can do. I hope that helps somehow. I do this full time. I'm always available for private readings. All the info's in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Okay, Paso, Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I dreamed of my Capricorn X this morning. It was really intense, really vivid. I was feeling his forehead. I said, no, you don't have a fever. He said, I definitely have a fever. I said, no, you, you don't have a fever. Who can't stop thinking about Capricorn? No más. Five of Cups. This person's missing the hell out of you. It's probably an X. That's a really intense start. Intense longing, melancholy, missing you. The Magician, Gemini. Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. And seven is Pisces, seven of Staff, seven of Wands. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is a soulmate. An ex you have a very strong spiritual connection with. Four of Staffs. Four is Aquarius. I would say at the very least, you live together. Maybe you weren't engaged. Maybe you weren't married. But at the very least, you live together. This is deep. This is significant. To start with Five of Cups. Five of Cups is not casual. That's not someone you just fucked a couple of times. Okay, Eight of Cups. This is really deep. Eight is Capricorn. This is an ex 
They regard you as a soulmate. They're dreaming of you. They're missing you. You might have broken this person's heart, or maybe they broke yours. You broke each other's hearts. And they want a fresh start, but they're scared. They're really scared. Um, they could have Sun in Gemini, Aquarius rising, Moon in Cancer is one possibility. Please provide a three-card energetic summation for Capricorn. They're scared if they come back, you'll shoot them down. You'll reject them. Perhaps you've moved on. You're in a new relationship and they don't know how to fit into your new life. To Cancer. Hangman Pisces. There's no rush, but... And some... In some part of their brain, they may not be conscious of this, in some part of their brain, they're hoping the two of you can get together and this time really nail it down and make it fucking work. They can't stop thinking about you. They're very energetically connected. You're showing up in dreams, okay? And if it looks like they've moved on, if they're in a new relationship, they're not fulfilled by that relationship. They're not happy. They hit the high notes with you. No one can compare to you. That's what I'm getting. No one compares to you. Uh, nothing compares to you, which was written by Prince, originally recorded by Prince, who was Gemini, and then the cover that I'm familiar with is Sinead O'Connor's, and she was Sagittarius. So that's what I see, Capricorn. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Okay, Paso, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Who can't stop thinking about Aquarius? Anti-ASMR, I'm pretty much the opposite of that. These are not soothing shuffles. two-faced knockoff bought a new wig and they have cosmetics in this uh wig shop i said do y'all have two-faced no we have two-faced knockoffs i got a two-faced at Ulta a couple of weeks ago but i'm terrible at organizing all my stuff i've got lipstick lip glosses all over the fucking place okay the lighting's terrible My favorite, Dolly. It's a print. Okay. It's called Bleeding Roses. Uh, six of Swords, Six is Venus. The Emperor, Mars, Aries. So right away I see an Axis, the Libra, Aquarius, Axis. Very strong sexual connection. Another Six. Yeah. Chemistry's off the charts. King of Cups. This person's in love with you. Could be long distance. This person could be a business owner. Two of staffs. Two is cancer. Um, seven of Cups. This person's deeply infatuated. Crushed with eyeliner. REM. Strange currencies. REM. Seven of Cups. Yeah, they've got you on the pedestal. They're looking through the rose-colored glasses. Um, most people look at this person and see a badass. They see Rip from Yellowstone. You don't fuck with this person. Not if you want a long, happy, healthy life. You don't fuck with this person. Very masculine, alpha, aggro, extremely adept at 3D stuff. They can ride a horse. They can drive a truck on ice. They can get shit done. <laughs> I don't know, they're competent, they're productive, they're successful. But they have this soft spot. And you're Beth, you're the only one who sees the soft, vulnerable side of this person. You have total access to this person. No one else does, just you. Love of a lifetime. They could have Sun and Scorpio, Aries rising. Moon and Libra, one possibility. They are intelligent. 
not necessarily book smart. They're not going to quote Edgar Allan Poe or E.E. E. Cummings. Uh, they're not especially philosophical, not an intellectual. They're smart in the way that to me really matters. They get shit done and they're really good at sex because they're so full. It's not about how big the dick is, my opinion. It's not how big the dick is or um, the positions or fetishes or kinks. It's how so full is the person. What do they bring to the table? You know, this person's heart and soul. To me, that's sexy as hell. Their heart chakra is just, when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection, their heart chakra is the 4th of July. It's just, it's fireworks. You have total access. You're, you're vibing on all levels with this person. Okay, it's, it's the fucking rainbow. All the chakras are glowing. You're communicating beyond words. That's a soulmate connection. Some would say twin flame, you know, whatever. Twin flames, divine counterparts. This is a very deep spiritual connection. You've loved through lifetimes. You're together in this lifetime and it just works because you both feel it and you're both choosing it. You're choosing this. You're choosing each other. And it's fucking beautiful. I alone, live, I have that song on numerous playlists and including my latest, the uh, Full Moon and Taurus playlist. I have I Alone and then um, All Over Me, two songs from that album that was a big deal in the 90s, live, The Rain Copper. So yeah, this is a soulmate kind of connection. It's deeply felt. Could be long distance. Maybe you met on the internet, um, social media, dating app, forum. Did I call it a possible astral combo? I think I did. They have water. They have fire. They have air. No earth. Yeah, earth is not prominent in this person's natal chart. They are romantic. You're the only one who sees that side to them. That's what I see, Aquarius. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Peace out. K plus so Pisces. Pisces, Sun, and Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Six cards for my beautiful Pisces collective. Who can't stop thinking about Pisces? I don't need these anymore. <laughs> Come on. This is ridiculous. i got to clean this shit up. I don't need these. I took the scissors and I did it my damn self. I cut all my hair off and then I went to Fantastic Sam's and got it cleaned up. I did the same thing in February for my 51st birthday. It was growing out weird and bushy. It looks stupid. I said, fuck this. I'll just buy wigs. So I got a new wig today and I got this new lip plumping gloss. It's a Too Faced knockoff. And I'm about 50 pounds overweight. I'm 51 years old, but I feel sexier, um, more valuable than I did when I was 17. I was a size zero. So being skinny and young ain't everything. All right. Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords, Seven is Pisces. The Lovers, Gemini. Ten of Coins, Ten Leo. And Queen of Cups, there you are. This is the weirdest thing. I don't know what it is. Um, the energy has just been phenomenal, starting with Aries. I mean, I've gotten so many strong, positive cards. I think it's that my energy is so good because I've noticed when my energy is shit and I just force myself to do a card reading, the cards speak to that. So any tarot reading you watch, the energy of the person shuffling the cards is going to come through. How could it not? So most of the readings I've done for this video, starting with Aries, have been extremely 
positive, high vibration, romantic, and I'm just feeling excellent today. It's a gorgeous day in San Antonio. We're getting stuff done. Went to Home Depot, finally got a new shower head and filter for the shower, and that's fun. Got my favorite nachos at a Taco Cabana with iced coffee, and I'm just, I'm riding the waves of a high vibration today. So this is the love of a lifetime. This is a spiritual connection. Uh, if you're not married now or engaged, living together, that's going to happen. You're going to be together. You're going to have a successful partnership. Love of a lifetime. And it's like I say all the time, I don't read reversals. I look at the position of cards. You can get all the information you need from the cards and the upright. The negativity of Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords is nullified by the cards around it. So this is not negative. This is not someone who's coming in for instant gratification, cheap thrills. This is not someone who's lying to you. This is not someone who's playing schoolboy, low vibration, stupid ass mind games. This is someone who's bringing tremendous value into your life. They regard you as an equal. They see your value. They see your worth. Um, They're being honest and authentic. And they're getting to know you in your totality. They're not just focused on one thing like, oh my God, you're so gorgeous. Let's have sex as soon as possible. No, they want to pace themselves and really get to know you. And have a whole life with you. Either it's happening now, they're coming in and they're slowly getting to know you, or you already have this and, and you're together right now and you're just watching for confirmation, out of boredom, curiosity for entertainment. Please provide a three card energetic summation for Pisces. Temperance. Four of coins, strong attachment. Four of swords. And when they think about you, it's not about sex, okay? It's about um, how much they love you, how they love spending time with you, how they feel better when they're in your presence, how you bring so much value to their life. If this is not your reality, if this is not your not your situation at all, if it doesn't resonate at all, you can watch for another placement, you can get a personal reading. Um, if what you're experiencing is a lot less than this, you can make this your reality. It's like I tell clients all the time, I am not fatalistic or superstitious when it comes to tarot. We create our own lives. I'm very big on LOA. I've seen evidence in my own life. Affirmations, subliminals, journaling, shadow work, just being very conscious of your energy, what you put out, what you allow in. My very strong belief, we aren't here on this planet to be mindless consumers, to just consume other people's content, to just binge watch whatever. We're here to create our own stuff and to make our own lives. So we're not passive. We're active participants in our own lives. That's what I see. That's what I have. Thanks for watching. Peace out.